Hey folks, I want to do a quick video on how to set up a Blazor WebAssembly application to use Hot Reload so that when you save a file, it will automatically refresh your Chrome browser for you and it will show you the updates. What we're going to do is we're going to add a new profile in our launch settings file so that we can run that, which is going to run .NET Watch for us. This is a brand new Blazor WebAssembly application and I've got the launch settings file open right here. And I'm just going to copy this in from my cheat sheet and I'll explain what all this does. This is a new profile called Watch and this is inside the profiles section right here. And these are all the default profiles that the launch settings had in it when I first created the app. And this profile has four different options on it. Command name, which is executable. Working directory, which is dollar sign parentheses project dir. Executable path is .NET. I do wanna point out that I'm on a Mac. I think if you're on a Windows machine, this is probably going to be .NET.exe. So just make sure you try it out if this doesn't work. And then lastly is command line args. And the value for that is watch, run, debug, and then dash dash launch dash profile HTTP. And the important part here is the launch profile. This launch profile name that you use here needs to match one of your other profiles. And this one, for example, matches this one right here. What we're going to do now is we're going to change it so that this will run the different configuration. So I'm gonna change it to watch, which means it's going to run this profile. And this launch profile parameter right here is actually telling it run all of this stuff, but then pass in all the information from here. And whichever profile you're using right here, you need to add one more thing to that. So I'm gonna go up to HTTP, which is right here. And I'm going to add hot reload enabled as true. Now let's run this and give it a try. And what I'm going to do is just update the names of one of these buttons. So I'll say one, two, three, and I'll save that. And you can see over here that Chrome is gonna reload that page for me. And now that text says, hello, name one, two, three. And that's pretty much all you have to do. This is one thing that really bothered me for a little bit when I first started using Blazor because I didn't know how to set this up. Mostly because it just slows down development. If you're always going back and refreshing the page or restarting the app, it just slows down everything. I do want to point out that I am using JetBrains Writer and I'm on a Mac, like I said before. I haven't tested this using a Windows machine or Visual Studio. I do hope that this works. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any issues. But I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.